Welcome to Evanston, Illinois. It is a gorgeous November morning on the shores of Lake Michigan in Evanston, the campus of Northwestern University. Northwestern getting ready to take on an Iowa team that had a thrilling overtime win against Michigan State last week. Northwestern lost to Purdue with a very uninspiring fourth quarter, and they want to come back and, uh, and finish strong and play much better today as they play for bowl eligible. On the other sideline, Kirk Ferentz has struggled with a young football team this year. Had a huge comeback win against Michigan State last week. He can rescue the season. If they run the table, they'll be bowl eligible. They have to win two of their last three games in order to be bowl eligible. They have gone to six straight bowl games. They have lost two straight to Northwestern. Quarterback now is in for C.J. Bechet. And what does he do? He hands it off to Sutton and Sutton very close to the goal line. He's in. He is in. They finally raise the hands. Tyrell Sutton with the touchdown and Northwestern really takes the lead. And Iowa has been a very different team away from Kinnick Stadium this season. They are four and one at home, one and four, on, or three and one at home, excuse me, one and four on the road, and the other, the other statistical differences are staggering. Yeah, I mean, look at that. They're like a different team when they leave Iowa City, and that's part of the youth of Kirk Ferentz's football team. You know, you've got to learn how to win on the road, and that takes a little while. Bechet into the end zone, touchdown Northwestern. Mark Woodson with the catch. As they say, is history. And he is the leading receiver for Northwestern this year. Bechet backpedaling and going down. Unable to get rid of it before Christian Ballard came in. And that is a substantial loss. Now officially, they are calling this a 49-yard field goal attempt by Villarreal. But he pushes that one wide left. That would have tied his career high set earlier this season against Michigan. Run for Albert Young, his longest of the day. Christensen fires on target. Darrell or Darrell Johnson Coulianus. Christensen with time goes into the end zone, has a man for the touchdown. Iowa scores as Trey Strauss gathers it in to extend Iowa's, or Northwestern's lead, and it is blocked. An Iowa player got a hand on it, and what a way to go into the locker room for the Hawkeyes. They played dismally in the first half until the touchdown, and then they get the block. Adrian Claiborne, Richard freshman defensive end, number 94, got a hand on it. And what a victory that was for the Hawkeyes. And history repeat itself. Christensen has a man, and it is a cut at the 35-yard line. James Cleveland with a terrific job of going up and bringing it down for a 26-yard gain. Thank you, Stan. Great game going on in the state of Ohio. The Big Ten standings. There's Ohio State and Michigan, both unbeaten, and they will play two weeks from today in Ann Arbor. Young gets a hole in the end. Zone. Terrific run by Albert Young for the Hawkeye touchdown. Well, what great patience that Young has, and that's what everyone who, who talked to us about his running style talked about the patience. And that time, he is perfect. Pam, Nebraska at 8 0 Kansas. And nothing going right for Joe Gans in his first start. John Larson with the interception here off the tip ball. They would cash it in on a title reaching the Desmond Briscoe touchdown. Most points ever in a first half against the Huskers for Kansas. One point shy of the most in any half against the Huskers. And in 114 meters, Kansas has never scored 48 in a full game against the Huskers. They've already got it at the half. Wow, that is remarkable, Stan. 48 points in the first half against Nebraska. Little flea flicker. Bechet looking downfield, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Mike Humphrey, the linebacker, who takes it back out to the 27-yard line. Now facing a second and eight. And again, he goes down for the sixth time today, and the ball is loose. Northwestern has it. David and Denny with the sack. Bringing up third and 13. Bechet out of the pocket, runs right into trouble and goes down. C.J. Bechet knocked down Christian Ballard. You saw his numbers against C.J. Bechet. Christensen going up top again. He has a man perfectly thrown to Trey Strauss. 
Western ends up on top of the ball with, with the football. They'll have possession. But Chris, but Bache lost that one with the pass rush coming at him. Looked like Madison got him again. So Northwestern looking like world beaters as they scored touchdowns in two of their first three possessions. 196 yards of offense in the first quarter. But then I guess you could say they hawkeyed up at Iowa. And they're going to come away with the victory as Bache is hit right when he throws the ball and that'll do it iowa wins it by the final of 28 17 coming up next on espn2 the nashcar bush series at texas for ray bentley and rob Simulcare, i'm pam ward craven martin our director jonathan lebovich our producer this has been a presentation of espn the worldwide leader in sports a big comeback win for iowa so long from northwestern as we go to texas